Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. Creepy or cool, Carly? Mm. Are you ready? Sure. A Chinese engineer has、uh, invented something to help with long distance relationships. Okay. If you've ever been in a long distance relationship, you know it's difficult,、uh-huh, right? Oh, yes. So, this Chinese engineer has developed a long distance kissing app. It comes with a moving silicone mouthpiece. I'm already weirded out. <laughs> so, you. Like you get a mold of the person's lips and you, you kiss it.、Ooh. And then you hit submit on the app. Oh my God. And it sends the motion of your kiss to the other person's silicone mouthpiece. And so. <laughs> oh my God. So, the, yeah, the, the, it's intended to allow you to kiss your long distance partner. Uh huh. Or in times of a pandemic. I mean, you、yes. could have avoid sharing COVID with each other. <laughs> <laughs> you got one silicone mouth in one room of the house and the other one in the other、yeah. room of the house. <laughs> creepy.、That's、so creepy. Oh, I'm just imagine like you're sitting there studying and all, like I'm imagining this like as like a college student having a long distance relationship and they're sitting there studying. For some reason, I always picture that with a long distance relationship. Okay, yeah. And the silicone mouth just starts moving. <laughs> And、oh, you're like,、yeah. you're like, oh. It's funky time. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no word on、it's、when this is、so... going on sale, if it'll ever go on sale. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs>、uh, and if you're wondering, there is no tongue included. I was actually a little curious about that. <laughs> <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Minnesota leaders are calling for recalls on Kias and Hyundais because they don't have enough anti theft protection on them. <laughs> This has been an issue <laughs> What? that's been talked about for a little bit, but now it's like big time hey, y'all need to do something about this. So, Kias and Hyundais manufactured between 2015 and 2021. Isn't that on the don't owner? Don't have enough. Protection. No, that would be on the dealers. Because... I mean, but isn't it on the owner to make sure you, you buy the extra, like, buy the club for your steering wheel, make you sure should... your car is locked? I'm pretty sure it's there's like certain things that a dealer should do to help with the protection of the car. Oh, it's called the、uh, it's an engine immobilizer. Oh, I don't、it's, even know if I have、called. that in my car. <laughs> I'm that sure sounds you fancy.、Do. I'm sure you do. But because they're easier to break into,、um, leaders are saying that in Minneapolis and St. Paul alone, it's led to, it's led to murders, it's led to、oh, more、really? than a dozen shootings. Bunches of crashes, robberies because these cars are easy to steal. And then people are like, wait, stop, that's my car. And the guy's like, not anymore. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that. The Minnesota ice castles are closing next weekend. It's just too warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's melting. I mean, it's not really news, right? It's kind of dangerous. Spring is here. Yeah. It's starting to, starting to come around. So, yeah, if you want to check out the Minnesota ice castles, this would be the weekend to do that. And finally, we've got two new restaurants, two more restaurants <laughs> coming to downtown Rochester. They're going to take over the old Jefe Rojo Newt's location. So, one's going to be on top, one's going to be on the bottom.、Mm-hmm. And they're both going to be owned by the same person who owns the Mezzanine Cafe and Dottori Sushi. So, you know it's going to be good stuff. Oh, it's super. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited、Korean? about this. Yeah. So, the top floor where Newt's used to be is going to be Korean style street food, which when I told my husband that yesterday, he's like, yes.、Uh, I know, right? <laughs> Give us some flavor. I know. I'm so excited. And then the,、uh, the bottom floor, the ground floor, we don't know what that's going to be yet, but it's going to be owned by the same person they're hoping to open later this summer. So Sammy is the owner, and she,、yes. uh, she said her goal is to make First Avenue a destination for foodies. Oh, I'd love that. Read more about those restaurants. Get more local news on the 106.9 KROC app. And when you're on our app, search for the Harlem Globetrotters Red, White, and Blue Basketball. When you find it, you could win courtside tickets for your family. It is time for the birthday game, and we're going to talk with Trisha this morning. Trisha, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? We're good. Are you at work this morning? I am. You want to give your business a shout out? Yeah, I work at Rochester Petroleum Equipment. Ooh, nice. That sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> What do you do there? <laughs> I work in accounting. Oh, oh that sounds、God. like a lot of fun. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You know how the game is played? 
I do not. Okay, five celebrity qu- questions about celebrities that celebrated their birthday this week. You'll go head to head against Carly. If you get more right than she does, you win four tickets to the movies, okay? Okay, great. All right, here we go. Carly, get out of here. Before TikTok was an app, it was a top 10 song. Who sang that song? I don't know. Okay, question number two. John Bon Jovi turned 61 this week. Where was the music video for Wanted Dead or Alive shot? You know that song, right? I know the song. Um, Where did they film the video? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Next question. Camila Cabello turned 26 this week. What girl group did she start in? Fifth Harmony. Jessica Biel turned 41 this week. Which pop star is Jessica Biel married to? Justin Timberlake. And finally, this Canadian singer has won two Grammys, one for Best Dance slash Electronic Recording and one for Best Country Duo slash Group Performance. Who is a Canadian singer? No idea. No idea. How do you think you did, <laughs> Trisha? Not very good. Okay. All right. Let's bring Carly back in here and we'll give her the questions. All right, Carly, are you ready? Are you awake? Are you feeling good? I don't know anymore because okay. I did so well and then last week was embarrassing. Oh, so. super embarrassing. What did you get one right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> here we go. Before TikTok was an app, it was a song, a top 10 song. Who sang it? Kesha. John Bon Jovi turned 61 this week. Okay. Where was the music video for Wanted Dead or Alive shot? Oh, I don't. I'm wanted. Yeah, I know the song. <laughs> Dead or Alive. Uh, California. Okay, pop star Camila Cabello. Uh-huh. She rose to prominence as a member of what girl group? Fifth Harmony. Jessica Biel is married to which pop star? Justin Timberlake. And your final question today, this Canadian singer has won two Grammys, one for Best Dance Slash Electronic Recording and one for Best Country Duo Group. Which Canadian singer celebrated a birthday this week? Is that, that's not Justin Bieber, is it? That's my final answer, but I'm not convinced. How do you think you did? I think I did pretty good. All right. Let's go through the answers here. <laughs> I'm nervous now. <laughs> TikTok, before it was an app, it was a song, top 10 song. Mm-hmm. Trisha, you passed. Carly, you said Kesha. Yes. It is Kesha. Okay. Pop nice. star Camila Cabello, 26. You both said Fifth Harmony. Good job. Okay, we got that right. Yep. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Jessica Beale, of course, married to Justin Timberlake. You both got that right. Okay. Three, one. Three to two. Bon Jovi. Uh-huh. The music video. Yes. Carly, I don't even remember what you said. California. And Trisha, you said Milwaukee. It was shot here in Rochester at the Mayo Civic Center. Oh, no way. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I just assumed that everybody here in town knew that fun fact. No, just you. Just me, apparently. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, well, now you know, and now you'll never forget. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Finally, the Canadian singer that won two Grammys. Trisha, you passed on that one. Carly, you said Justin Bieber. It is Justin Bieber. Oh, it is Justin he Bieber. He did win a Grammy in the country category. Okay, yeah, because I was sick of that Dan and Shay song. Mm, 10,000 okay. hours. Okay, okay. Carly, you win today. Oh, my God. Sorry, Trisha. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. Have a good day. Thanks, you Bye. too. The birthday game is brought to you by the Marcus Theaters in Rochester. Check out what's playing this weekend at MarcusTheaters.com. And if you want to go head-to-head against Carly next Friday morning, open the 106.9 KROC app and chat with us right now. Let us know you want to play. Duncan and Carly, weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.